What's up, my people? This is uh, this is Matthew here. You know, today we are going to talk about how me and Tommy met. Um, this is <laughs> a long. Um, I. I'm not so sure how to explain it to you guys, but, um, in this, in this amount of time, I will be showing you how we met. You don't worry. I'm back. Back when I was in elementary, I had no friends. And then I came to uh, William Gates Elementary in Independence. I started having classes, and then I started meeting new people. Well, those people were specifically Tommy, Liz, Angel, uh, Priest, Spring. No, Spring wasn't there. Spring, I didn't meet Spring until um, Franklin Smith. Um, I met two new teachers. Miss Soap, Miss uh, B, and my music teacher, who I cannot wait, I cannot place his name. Um, you know, meeting new friends is like a schedule. Talking to people, it's how me and Tommy first met. We had about mm, one class together, and every day I would, um, I would at least talk to him and do my schoolwork at the same time. Uh, we would all hang out at recess, play together, we would hang out, we chit chat just like any, anyone would do. Meeting Tommy for the first time was exciting. And actually getting to know him was even more exciting, knowing that I actually have a friend who deeply inside cares about me. And, well, After three three years, we started becoming best friends, well, more like brothers. And then middle school came, and we started hanging out even more. Yes, and there had been a few times where we had a little a little talk, but we would always talk it out. And then we started playing games together. We started hanging out. And the more I hang out with him, the more I trusted him, the more I liked him. Yes, some people may see things that I might be gay, but I'm fine with it. I have a friend who's gay. Actually, I actually have two friends that are gay, but I like them. I like and not what they are. Now some people might say hey, that that's racist. Well, to be honest, it's not. It's not racist. It's not sexist. It's it's just explaining 
who they are, what their personality is, and they actually have good. Um, they actually have good. Uh, uh, what's the word? They actually have good skills. They're really good in fashion. They know just about anything you can know about fashion. What's the best thing to wear to whatever, whatever. My mom has a co-worker, uh, has a best friend, more like a, a little son, and his name is Matt, like mine. But he has a different last name. I know it might sound kind of familiar, but it's not. Yes, we might have, we might both have the same name, but we are two different people. Now, yeah, some of you might say, um, just crazy, what are you doing? I don't care. I have family. I have family who care about me. I have family who love me. And I'm grateful for that. Very. Now, the only thing that bothers me is the stuff that goes around from both sides of the family. Yes, it may be a pain in my butt, but you know what? I still love them. Like, I might be a pain in the butt to my mom and dad, and to pretty much the rest of my family, but that doesn't change a thing. Knowing that I am loved and actually feeling it. Uh, two different things. Now, yes, I have two jobs. I work at Waffle House on the weekends, and then on the weekdays, I work at Domino's. Yes, Domino's may be a pain, but I at least have two jobs, excuse me, that are part-time. Two part-time jobs working Full time. Now that's a lot of money. I used to be working seven days a week. That's about 39 hours. Uh, seven days a week, 39 hours, seven days, 39 hours a week. That's pretty good. Considering 35 hours is full time. But since my boss's boss, no, the other boss, the Jamie, or not, not Jamie, uh, Julian, decided to cut everyone's hours and to, um, to basically try and fire us. Now, that doesn't seem right. That means I have less money, I have less hours that I'm making. And I should be making more than that. Full time, yes, that's a lot of hours, that's a lot of money. But you know what, in the end it pays off. Yes, I've been working my butt off every day. But that ain't gonna change. It's gonna make my character look better. It's gonna make me look better. Yes, I may still be a pain in my grandmother's butt. No, you're not. Uh-huh, I am too. No, you're not. You're my butt. Wait. <laughs> Sometimes it pays off. But don't change nothing. Now, what I am going to do here, okay, is I am going to tell you how many hours I'm making? I am making at least thirty-four, thirty-five hours a week. And yes, I've been. I used to be working five days a week over at Domino's. 
Well, guess what? I am now. I'm probably making what? I'm doing like what? Four? Four? Four days a week? Maybe? Maybe, maybe less. Well, I could be even doing two hours. Three, two or three hours. Uh, two, three days a week. But no, it's still not going to change. I ain't going to quit. I ain't those people who sit there and quit because their boss decides to be a you-know-what. I am going to stay. Yes, it may not be enough money, but it's still paycheck in my pocket. And besides, when I paycheck the same day school starts, which is the 23rd of this month, two days, I am a junior this year. And I have last before school start before school ended, my last grade card was a four point oh. That's pretty darn good, right? A lot of people would say, You're doing better than I am. And I have so and so GPA. Well, good to you. Keep working hard. If you have any homework that's been missed, find a way to make it. Or better yet, if you can't do that, at least try to get more credit. Go to summer school. Have teachers give you more work to do. Find something that will give you more credit. Because the more credit you do, the higher GPA you get. I get all my class work done. And if I don't finish it, I do it the next day. That next day, I go back in and I do it. I turn it in. And I say to myself, you can do this. I believe in you. Yes, I may not say it out loud, but I say it in my head. I think it. Yes, you may get frustrated at times, but you know what? It's not. It works. And my friend Tommy, he had a grandma. He has less toys than I do. But you know what? He gets to enjoy his time. I have a phone. Yes, it may not be the phone I want. But it's a phone. And I have exactly 1,500 minutes on this thing. So I have less than that. But if I use a wisely, which I probably don't know, it should last me about a month until I get my next paycheck until I can afford it. Now, I don't get paper checks from all I'm doing the best possible. Which means, you still get your paycheck set, but the actual money is on the debit card. Which means, as soon as I get my pay, my money, it transfers through the internet, okay, onto the debit card itself. And that debit card, that money in there, will build up like stacking bricks on a wall. Then eventually, eventually I will have a lot of money on top of it. And as my mom told me this, and my dad. Spend your money wisely. Don't go spending on things you don't need. Spend it on things you want. Yes, every now and then you can sit there and splurge and buy something you want. But if you spend that money wisely on things you need, and you build that habit, you know what's going to happen? 
you will automatically do it without even thinking about it. You will automatically do it. It's in your self-conscious. Yes, some people might say that's crazy, but it's the truth. You have a self-conscious mind. You may not see it. You may not feel it. But you have a Now, yeah, things have been getting a little crazy, but you know what? I kind of like it. I like my lifestyle. I like what I do. My personality, it's me. Now, unlike my friend, or more like brother, Tom Gamer Nickum, YouTube channel, I subscribe to his YouTube channel. And I have him on Gmail. I have, that's it, I have one Gmail. Nothing more. And I know a lot of you are out there. But if you want, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and like it and hit that bell so that way you don't miss a single video. This is for all you out there. I will see you tomorrow.